Hey guys and welcome back. This is just only a very very short video. I just want to go through infrared imagery to look at the reflectance value of different pixels. So in order to do that we have our grayscale image. It's not actually a normal grayscale. So in order to make an infrared image we can either do change RGB bands by right clicking or we can go up to data manager. Let's just do this. So to get an infrared image um, we need bands infrared, red and green. We don't need to worry about blue because that's just not important. So the bands appear 1 to 7 as blue, green, red, infrared. Well, actually, it should be near infrared, infrared. So we'll just do near infrared, red, green. And they appear down here. So we're loading our data. Uh, don't worry about the bad resolution, it's just a, a bad picture. I'm zoomed in really far. So then you just want to go to display and down to profiles and then go over to arbitrary. Now you can see our cursor has changed to this little thing. So if we just select, say, like left click here, left click here, and then double click really quickly, we can see our three different bands right here. So I'll move this out of the way so you can see our line. So we have bands, uh, band four, remember it's going backwards, so it's near infrared, red, green okay so red is near infrared and we can see as it uh, the transect is the beginning to the end point so zero is the leftmost point of this line and 25 is the rightmost point of this line and the data value is the reflectance of those pixels so at the very beginning uh, moving along just a little bit you can see this red blob right here that would probably be this spike that means that there is a lot of near infrared being reflected, meaning that this is a very bright red color, meaning that vegetation is reflecting a lot of near infrared light. We could then say that this point in time along this line, which is around about 10, uh, 10 like um, distance across or 10 pixels across or something, that this is where the healthiest vegetation is. And we could say that this is where the worst vegetation is. But you can see it goes over this green blob. That might be a building, or it might be just like grass or something, I don't know. But something that isn't healthy vegetation. We know that much. And then it has a huge dip down, and then it plateaus and flattens out right here. And so this would mean that there's very, very weak reflectance of near-infrared light. This is, is, of course, the water. So water absorbs a whole ton of near infrared light. That's why it is not being reflected like this, and it is all being pretty much absorbed. Its reflectance is uh, like 40 of the possible 120. And you can think of this as like, uh, like 0 to 1 in terms of reflectance. So 0 is full absorption, and 1 up the top which is like 140 on this axis, is full reflectance. And then it, you can see it shoots back up again a little bit. That's because it goes back over vegetation again. So yeah, that's the arbitrary profile. If you want to see the reflectance value of any such pixel using uh, infrared light, you can also do this using other wavelengths, but you would just typically use infrared imagery for this type of stuff. And you can also see that green, uh, which would be red light, is it begins to move upwards as it starts to get reflected by water. So red light is uh, more reflective in water, and it's less reflective in vegetation. You can see that. So it's not very reflective, spikes up a bit, and then it shoots up a lot as it hits the water and then it starts to get absorbed again by the land. And this last bit that's probably just um, like road or something that it's hitting at the last point. But yep, that's all you need to know from this and I hope you guys learned something. I know that was a very short video and it's very easy to learn, very easy to pick up. So good luck guys!